today we're going to make a photo fruit face and I have this selfie that I took of my friends at another friend's wedding and then I also have this picture of strawberries that I took at Safeway if you don't happen to have any pictures of fruit or vegetables go to pixabay.com and go ahead and download one and choose one that has some sort of context maybe background multiple pieces of fruit or fun um, and uh, pick a fruit or vegetable that um, has interesting contours. Bananas can be kind of tricky. Um, for this one I'm actually going to make some adjustments to the picture. So first I'm going to right click on my layer and make a duplicate of it. Click OK. And I'm going to turn off the visibility of my background layer. So now I'm making changes but the original is staying safe. I'm going to Command T and transform this image and I actually want to rotate it. If I hold Shift it'll snap it into place where it's level. And I'm going to pull it up a little bit. And when I like the position I'm going to click up here to accept it or I can hit Enter. Now I'm going to crop the picture and I'm pulling in and I'm getting rid of the plastic around it just a little bit. And again, once I like that, I can hit enter or accept. Um, I want to come in a little bit more on this side here and accept. All right. And back to this image, I am going to also right click and make a duplicate layer and turn off the visibility of the background. We're going to use a new tool today. We're going to use our quick selection tool and here is quick selection. And I'm going to come and click my face. Now if I click too much I can hold the option or alt key and that gives me the minus sign and that deselects. And really I just want my face. I don't need the hair or the bow. Um, if I do too much I can let go of alter option and add more back in with the plus sign and go back to the minus sign. I can also change the amount up here and change the size of this um, quick selection brush so that I can be a little bit more fine-tuned and and over here, fine tune this. All right, that works um, fine. I'm, I can come back and do some other things with my hair later. Now up here, we're going to click Select and Mask, and it's going to bring me to this screen. Now you have different choices as to what it looks like as you're working. And some people like um, on white, but I like on layers. And I'm going to turn on my Smart Radius tool, and it's going to adjust how much is selected. I'll show you an extreme version of what's been selected. I don't want it to be that extreme. Especially with hair and such, this can be very helpful. And then let's also feather. And for this, I'm going to feather quite a bit. You can make other adjustments. Um, if you see that you accidentally selected something else, you see that there's a little bit of the picture um, on the outside, you also have the minus tool here as well and you can come in and adjust your selection. Um, just be very careful because it can delete your entire selection. So this is similar to the Alt or Option key on the last screen that we were on. Come down to your Output Settings and change it to New Mask and click OK. So now it has made it its own mask on its own layer. Go to your Move tool, grab the face, keep holding, keep holding, and come to the strawberries, let go. Now mine, my pictures were taken with two different cameras, so it's saying it's a different color profile. That's okay. And now I can see that I have the face on its own layer. I'm going to Command T to transform it. Now if I don't hold Shift, it's not going to constrain proportions and I'm going to look different than I normally do. Command, oh, and my Command Z is not working to undo, so instead I'll go to my history and I will, oh, I know what it is. It wants me to accept this, so I have to accept it. Now I can come back into my history 
Command T again, grab the corner and hold Shift as I transform, come over away from the corner a little bit and I can rotate, grab the picture, be careful don't grab the middle anchor point, grab the picture and drag it into place where you like it. And again, to accept this, hit enter or hit the check mark. All right, next, I'm going to go to my eraser tool. I'm going to command plus sign to zoom in a little bit. And I want to get rid of my hair. And um, actually, this works really nicely if you get rid of the forehead and some of the cheek as well. A little bit of the chin, because now the strawberry is going to be the chin. And it's not erasing any of the other layers because I'm on the correct layer. If you see that it's erasing your background instead, just make sure you're clicked on the correct layer. And you can also adjust um, the hardness or softness of your eraser tool. So mine has been softened a bit. Um, so that it's not a hard edge as I'm going through and erasing. And you can also change the opacity to give it more of that feather because now we've taken away a bit of the feathering. All right, once you've got it where you like it, your next task is to adjust the color. So go up to Image, Adjustments, Color Balance. And here you're just going to eyeball it to try to match the color of the fruit. So for the red of the strawberry, I'm going to turn the red up, a little bit of magenta, a little bit of yellow. And that's turning to orange, so I'm going to back off on that. And I think that looks okay. If your um, preview is not clicked, if you can't see the changes, make sure you have your preview clicked. I'm going to click OK. And now I'm going to try to match the color of this red a little bit better. I'm going to go to my um, eyedropper tool and I'm going to choose this darker red. And now I'm going to go and I can see that it's selected here as my foreground color and I'll go to my brush tool. Now this one I also have it soft and I can change the size of it this looks okay and I can change the opacity of the brush now if I have it all the way up it's just gonna cover everything command Z I'll undo that I want to change the opacity so it's a bit see-through as I come in oh that's maybe a little bit too strong a little bit more bring that down a little bit more all right And then I'm going to come to my eyedropper. This red is a little bit lighter red, so I'm going to change the color for my brush and brush this on. All right, once I got the colors where I like them, I'm going to come over here to my layer and I'm going to click on the thumbnail, actually double click on it. This is a little hard to see, but make sure your preview is selected. And I'm going to bring the opacity down of my entire face so that a bit more of the strawberry comes through the seeds of the strawberry. And I'll do that for the fill opacity as well. Click OK. If I don't like that, I can always double click on the thumbnail to get back to it. And I can adjust those numbers slightly. Click OK. Now I'm going to command minus sign to zoom out and I'm still on this face layer. I'm going to command T and just do some um, little adjustments so that the edge of the strawberry looks like my chin. So I can hold shift, make it a little larger, grab it, drag it over. Oops. And again, when I got it where I want it, click the check mark to place it. Zoom out and I think that looks pretty good. So I actually did that with uh, all three of us in this selfie. So here's my finished version. There I am, my friend Karen and my friend Megan. And I'm going to do some touch-ups to this final version as well. Um, I'm going to crop a little bit more in to get rid of the plastic. And I'm also going to use my brush tool I'm going to turn it black and I'm going to check the opacity of it 
And I just find this plastic to be a little distracting. I'm going to come in and darken that. So I'm just considering the whole composition and putting some final touches on it. All right, once I'm done, I'm going to file Save As, and I'm going to name it First Name, Last Initial, Underscore, Wedding, Fruit, Faces, because I have multiple faces. I'm saving it as a Photoshop document, and click OK, and I'll file Save As, same name, and as a JPEG as well. Click Save. I already have one, so I'm just replacing it. Turn up the quality on your JPEG all the way and click OK.